Jackie Robinson Jr. tragically died at age 24, just a year before his famous father, in a horrific car accident in Connecticut on June 17, 1971. Jackie Robinson Jr., the firstborn of Baseball Hall of Fame player Jackie Robinson, met an untimely death on June 17, 1971 in a fatal car accident. Born just five months before his father made history and dying just a year before him. Vietnam veteran and former drug addict Jackie Robinson Jr.'s life. Jackie Robinson Jr.'s life embodied much of both the good and the bad of mid-20th century life in the United States. Jackie Robinson Jr. was born on November 9, 1945 to Jackie and Rachel Robinson. His father had broken countless baseball records and had gained the attention of the big leagues. When Jackie Jr. was five months old, his father was drafted to the Brooklyn Dodgers. And the family made the cross-country move from Los Angeles to New York. Jackie Jr. had some challenges as a child and his parents put him into a special education program to ensure he could have the best life possible as he grew up. Though he succeeded academically, Jackie Jr. needed more structure in his life. He attended Ripowan High School in Stamford, Connecticut, for a short time before dropping out and enlisting in the Army. The Army provided the much-needed stability in Jackie Jr.'s life and he spent three years enlisted. With a good portion of that time in Vietnam, at the same time, his father publicly supported Lyndon B. Johnson. On November 19, 1965 during a tour of duty, Jackie Jr. was wounded in action while saving a comrade. Once he had healed enough to travel, he was discharged and came back home. Though Jackie Jr. recovered from his injuries, he returned home in 1965 with a new set of challenges. Not unlike other soldiers in Vietnam, he was introduced to widely available drugs. His family believed that he became addicted while enlisted. Whether he returned home already struggling with his sobriety or if he began using. When he came back home as a means to cope with all he had seen overseas. Jackie Robinson Jr. quickly sought help for his addiction in 1965. He checked into the Daytop Village Treatment Facility in Seymour, Connecticut. He spent two years at the facility, completing treatment in 1967 at 20 years old. Daytop Village had an important impact on his life and recovery. He often spoke to youth groups about the effects and dangers of drug use. However, on June 17, 1971, he was traveling at high speed toward his parents' home. When he lost control and crashed through a fence and into a bridge near Route 123 on the Merritt Parkway. He was pronounced dead at the scene. His brother David identified him at the nearby Norwalk Hospital. Though he struggled to find a place to fit in for much of his life. Jackie Robinson Jr. persevered just like his namesake, 